What's going on, fellow pregnant people of YouTube? I've had this channel for three months now, which means I've made it through my first trimester of pregnancy, so I figured I'd let you guys in on the fact that I am, in fact, pregnant. I know what you guys are thinking. Ryan, you're a guy. How are you pregnant? Don't think too deep into it. Just press the like button. Every like I get is you guys congratulating me on my new baby. So if you don't press the like button, you're basically saying that you don't like the fact that I'm pregnant. And, you know, that, that's where my advice has come from at the end, saying don't get pregnant because I'm experiencing it firsthand. I'm not actually pregnant, guys. Come on. I appreciate the thoughts and you guys saying that you want to throw me a baby shower. It's just not going to happen. But what is going to happen is we're going to talk about the time my Uber driver was drunk today. As you guys know, it's a long, hollow tradition that I am usually the designated driver for all of my hydrated friends. Whenever my friends go out and have a good time, it's my job to get them home as safe as possible. Usually I do this with a Batman mask on just to really complete the whole superhero vibe. But this night when me and my friends went out, I decided to join in on the party to and ended up getting hydrated myself which meant that we needed someone to get us all home and there's this nifty handy dandy app that you can get on your phone called uber where a man will come or, or woman okay not to be sexist will come pick you up from wherever you are and take you home for money it's one of the world's oldest professions actually back in the day jesus got around by having a man with a donkey and a cart pull him around it was called a uh, suber they just dropped the s when it came back this time you know just like jesus came back and uh basically when you're in an uber driver's car their job is to just get you home safely that's really their only job there's nothing else they need to do the only thing they need to do is drive safely that's basically it so me and my friends were out partying having a great time all night and all of us were pretty hydrated so when the night was coming to an end we all decided to just get an uber get home safely uber pool that hoe get home one at a time and have an absolutely fantastic time so we're standing outside of this party for a solid 10 minutes and then here comes the brand new toyota camry it's got leather seats it's a class it's a class act i'm not gonna lie and we get in and our uber driver goes yo where do you guys need to go and instantly i feel like something's a little bit off because the guy kind of slurs it together instead of where do you guys need to go it's more of a where do you need to go? And I'm like, you know what? Maybe he's just got a speech impediment or something. I really doubt anyone would be stupid enough to Uber drive while they're drunk because that's A, illegal, and B, will get you a pretty hefty prison sentence. And the last thing you want to do in prison is when the murderers are like, what are you in here for? Oh uh, man, got a little tipsy and decided to drive for Uber. This is not a very intimidating thing, and we all know that prison is all about being the biggest, toughest guy in the room. And something tells me the Uber driver was definitely not going to be that person. So as we're driving, our Uber driver does the normal questions. You know, how's your day going? We respond in the most hydrated way possible. Oh my god, we have a great night. Oh my god. You know, just being a... Typical teenagers that are slightly under the influence. Except he responds, yeah, I just got out of a party too. Figured I would pick some people up on my way home. And I go... Well, you weren't drinking at your party, right? And he goes, nah, bro, of course I was. I was out there to have a good time. And I'm like, then then why are you driving? And he goes, well, I just figured, you know, I've, I've driven drunk quite a few times. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Besides, like, what are the odds of someone really pulling me over? And uh, I guess I was sober enough to realize that this was a really, really bad thing. This was nothing that the guy should be bragging about. In fact, it's the exact opposite. You don't tell the people paying you to drive them home so they don't have to be in a dangerous situation that they're now in a dangerous situation. That's called alienating the customer. And when I went to college for a semester, they taught me all about how alienating the customer is extremely bad and you shouldn't do it. So this guy basically broke business rules 101. So at this point, I'm getting a little nervous, but the rest of my friends are too hydrated to really get it. They're like, bro, that's so savage. And I've never understood when people, like, flex the fact that they broke the law and other people's responses are, haha, that's savage. Yeah, it is savage, but we made laws so we don't live like savages. Like, you want to really live like it's in Borderlands, have people's heads on spikes and stuff? I don't think so. I don't like the fact that people are savages. I like civilization. I really do. I think it's great, and that's why we have laws, and this guy was breaking them. And he goes, yeah, you know, that's just how I live my life, like a savage. And I'm like, yeah, well, if we get pulled over, you're going to be living your life behind bars. Ha ha. And the guy's like, yeah, but they'll never catch me. I'm great at driving drunk. Which is basically the equivalent of flexing the fact, yeah, they'll never catch me. I'm really good at getting away with murder. It doesn't change the fact that what you're doing is wrong. It just means you're good at getting away with it. Which means you've done it a lot. Which means you've had a lot of practice. Which means you've purposely broken the law a lot. And I know I'm sounding like a stickler. But let's keep in mind that I'm supposed to be paying the guy for this ride. And I didn't go on Uber with the specific instructions. Want a drunk driver, SOS. Like, that's why we were doing this in the first place. Was to avoid this situation. And now we got uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Trying to whip around in the foreign. Because, I mean, it is a Japanese car. So, technically, it is foreign. While, while whipping us around. Flexing the fact that, oh, I do this all the time. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the problem. 
problem, man. You do this all the time. This is why we wanted to avoid this. Now I'm stuck with you, and there's really nothing I can do except try to avoid you, okay? So we're on the freeway, and he starts kind of swerving lanes, just generally not being very good at driving, you know, that, that thing that you're supposed to be good at when you're an Uber driver. And of course, as we're whooping down the highway, he's kind of swerving in and out of lanes, overall just not driving safely. And I'm getting really nervous. My friends haven't even noticed yet. And then out of nowhere, the red and blue lights come on behind us. And you know, all my friends are like, oh no. And he's like, no bro, it's cool, it's cool. We're gonna get like, don't even worry about it. Uh, my, my uncle's a cop, I'm gonna be fine, bro. Don't even worry about it. Everything's gonna be fine. Which is what you say when you're really nervous. Like no one's ever had to reassure everyone that everything's gonna be in fine if everything's not gonna be okay. Like no one's ever been like, oh, everything's gonna be fine. And then it turns out to be fine. They only say that when they're getting nervous. And in my head, I'm like, oh no, karma really did catch up to this kid quicker than expected. I at least wanted to get home before you got arrested because now this is just bad. This is just all bad, all right? This is a negative situation. Zero out of 10 would not recommend. So the cop walks up to the car and the Uber driver opens with something that I don't think is a good opening, which is no officer, I haven't had anything to drink tonight. Before the cop says anything, like the cop hasn't even said, do you know why I pulled you over? Do you know what your name is? Is your name Jeffrey? Do you know that your Toyota Camry has the gas thing open? I don't know what he's going to say. All I know is that the guy instantly responded with, I haven't had anything to drink tonight. So the cop naturally responds with, well, I didn't say you had anything to drink tonight, son, but have you had anything to drink tonight? And he goes, no. And he's like, well, judging from the smell of your breath, I'm going to have to say that you are definitely not telling the truth and I'm going to have to do a field sobriety test. And then he goes, oh, well, my uncle's a cop. And he's like, okay, well, still going to need to do a field sobriety test. It doesn't matter if your uncle's a cop. That's not how it works. It's not like the get out of jail free card. You can't get pulled over with a dead body in your trunk and be like, ugh. <laughs> Well, my uncle is a cop, so basically I'm home free. You're not allowed to arrest me. The law says that you can't get me in trouble because I'm related to an officer of the law. And he's like, no, 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 officer, that really won't be necessary. As if that's going to work, as if the officer is going to be like, oh, you're right, my bad, bro. You go about your business, Uber these people home. And at that point, he turns his attention, he goes, you got a pretty full car. And he goes, oh, I'm an Uber driver, and I'm taking these people home. And he's like, well, are, are they intoxicated? And yep. Yep, we were. 100% absolutely. So we just kind of come clean. We're like, yeah. And he goes, okay, well, good on you guys for getting an Uber driver. I'm just going to test him real quick. I doubt there's anything to worry about because no one would be stupid enough to Uber drive drunk, but we'll just get this done really quick and we'll get you guys on your way in no time. And we're like, awesome. Or my friends are like, awesome. I'm like, yeah, this is, this is going to take longer than a minute. So they do the test. And of course he's drunk because he's drunk. So the cop comes to us, basically says he's going to have to take the guy to the station. We can find another way home and basically takes us back off the freeway, puts us in a parking lot and is basically like, all right, well, you can we can call your parents. And we're like, no, 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 we'll just Uber. Don't worry about it. He goes, how old are you? And we're like, uh, 21. And I think he knew that we were lying, but he just kind of was like, all right, we'll get home safely. We get another Uber driver. This guy's not drunk. We tell him what's going on. And he's like, yeah, you're going to need to report that to the company. I didn't want to just because I didn't want the guy to get banned from like his job. But at the same time, he, he, he did kind of break the law and get arrested while Uber driving. So he kind of deserved it. We decided collectively that we probably should report it just because that's a uh, super irresponsible thing to do and definitely kind of should not be an Uber driver if that's your thought process process like it's just just pro probably not a good idea you know it'd be like hiring a babysitter that's been known to smother babies it's just zero, zero out of ten would not recommend there's like very few rules when it comes to driving other than don't dive drunk and don't crash and you kind of kind of broke one of the two rules you need to just not do like literally the one of the two things you just can't do and he just had to do it so we we did what we had to do and i still feel bad about that a little bit but not really but like i do but like not really you know you know what i mean moral of the story i did end up getting home safely but it was just one of the craziest like almost awkward experiences of my life you never hop in an uber expecting these things to happen uh you know i never went to uvu driver that's that's all i'm trying to say but yeah, moral of the story, don't drive for Uber if you're drunk, especially if you're taking home other drunk people. And if you are going to drive drunk, maybe drive a little bit better. Don't swerve around on the freeway. And when the cop pulls you over, don't open with, I haven't had a drink. By the way, my uncle's a cop, so you really can't arrest me. Still don't know what he was going for on that note, as if the cop was really just going to let him home scot-free. But on that note, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the video. We are rapidly approaching 150K, especially 
just wanted to take a minute and say thank you. Press the like button if you haven't already because like buttons actually will uh, reduce this guy's sentence by a year or increase the sentence by a year, whatever you guys want. Just press the like button. That's basically what I'm telling you to do. On that note, guys, my name is Ryan Scrubby. Hope you all have an absolutely incredible day. Don't get anyone pregnant, and if you do, make sure they're hot, and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm out. Peace.